Hello everyone, welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition Insanity with Mods. Now, a lot was actually added to my inventory in terms of... Yeah. Apparently I got the collector thing, Cerberus thing. Also this, you know, definitely not probably amazingly overpowered. I'll use it in the next mission, but, uh, yeah. I think I'm just going to stick with the Maddox, the Hornet, and the Paladin as my normal loadout. Now, let me check. Do I have any upgrades? A penetration upgrade. That's actually really good. I'm using one of those. Uh, let's see, let's see. I still haven't gotten a heavy pistol upgrade yet. Let me see. Advanced training. I'll have to get some loyalty up. But, uh, yeah, that's all I can get. Let's talk to the crew. Jack would like to talk to you. Okay, it's the start of the loyalty missions, basically. Uh, okay. Interesting. Alright. So that was from the Admiralty Board. Let's, uh, I think... I think we have Miranda, Jacob, and Jack. So let's talk to Jacob first. I also have to talk to him about something else. Commander, sorry I haven't really had time to check in since we launched. Glad to be on board. And I have to apologize, I'm a little unfocused due to a personal matter, but I won't let it affect my duties. I always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck. See if it's legit. If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had 10 years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can, as fast as possible, to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Okay, now I have to talk to him again. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gernsback, Commander. I doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. 
There we go. Upgrades. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Ooh. Heavy ship armor. Sorry made Solaris armor attached to the ship's superstructure. This will hold the ship together if hit by a blast powerful enough to break its shields. I'll do that right now. There we go. Heavy ship armor. Gotten. All right. Let's go around or go down to talk to Miranda. Okay. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. What's going on? My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. How'd your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Interesting. Also want to ask her if she has any upgrades. If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. I'll let you know, Miranda. Of course, Commander. Okay, she's got nothing right now. Did you hear? But I know Another two people that might Ferris actually Fields. have upgrades. Yeah. Shepard, need me for something? Oh, he does. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Okay, let's see what this one is. Thanex Cannon. Korean design Thanex Magnetic Hydrodyn... Hydronamic. Okay, I thought it said Hydrodynamic. Hydronamic Cannon. Now installed on the Normandy. This cannon is powerful enough to destroy the collector vessel with enough hits. Perfect. Hold on. Oh, it's just Edie. Ew. Alright, now down to... Jack. And I also want to talk to Tali. I think she'll have something, too. Okay, here's the engineer. So there's Tali. Shepard. What can I do for you? She does have an upgrade. Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? Definitely. With the right supplies, I can fortify our shields. The collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. My upgrades might give us a better chance. Okay, let's see this one. Multi-core shielding. The Cyclonic Barrier Technology, CBT. This should help. 
the ship survived blasts like those that destroyed the first Normandy. Well, I'll spend it. I think that's all the upgrades for the ship that we can get. Let's see what Jack wants. Tight little group you got here. And a pretty nice ship. You'd be rich if you took to piracy, but you wouldn't. I can't figure you, Shepard. Doesn't matter. I've got to talk to you about something. I'm listening. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes. I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me. Then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm going to talk to the elusive man and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Our mission is the priority. If we have time, we'll go there. Don't wait too long. I need to do this soon. I need it. Yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting. But we have two more people to recruit before I do any loyalty missions. All right, let's go back up to the CIC. No messages for you, Commander. I forgot we were here. Help Jack, help Jacob. Help Miranda. Well, we're going to Ilium anyway. Get some fuel, probes. Probe launched. Need a lot of palladium. Probe away. Launching probe. There's not very much on this planet.
Ooh, rich. Perfect. We need lots of palladium. Wow, one right next to the other. Oh my god. That got me a decent amount. Let's hit this gas giant. says scanner results poor but we're gonna have a decent amount of just a little bit just like one or two things we're getting a lot of one more and then I'll call it quits This one's really good. And that's the last one. All right, let's head to Ilium. I think I'll take... I think I'll take 
Garrus and Morden for right now. Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your conduct and paid all fees you would normally incur. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosostra's most respected information brokers. Nosostra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office of this contract outlines significant financial risk. Interesting. Oh, I can trade. Wow. Wow, so there is a literal stock exchange. For elements Expensive, and but money. Possibly valuable. Shepard, you are not authorized to stake the Normandy as collateral. Worry too much. How hard can this be? Okay, wow. Alright, let's look around. Twenty-five. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? Oh, that was a massive frame drop. You're Commander Shepard? I saw your I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. 
What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful, and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to, and her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Some things soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. If you can pass a message back, tell her that I'm watching. Don't make me regret setting her free. You won't. She seeks only peace. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Very interesting. All right. Let's see. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Oh, I can I can actually do the discount thing. All right. How do I know this stuff is any good? You're in a sorry. Maybe your stuff is no good for humans. I carry nothing but the best. I offer a money-back guarantee. That doesn't help when I'm dead due to equipment failure. Look, I'm dropping too many credits to screw around here. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. I'll have a look around. Very interesting. Ooh. Okay, the Castro. The Castro gear. This was some of the best gear for way back when. Alright, let's grab it up. That's all the Kestrel gear, and I'm gonna buy. This should come in handy. That for right now. Um, let's go see Liara. A Batarian training group has announced plans to sue the Citadel Council. The Batarians. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. 
Interesting. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. It's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No. No trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I'll talk to you later, Liara. All right, we got the info we need. For human expansion as the on has Hack security the notes. The thoroughly, okay, I didn't think I'd see Gianna here. Shepard, the news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. If I recall correctly, Miss Parasini, you owe me a beer. That I do. Have a seat. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. Nothing I can talk about. No offense, but Novaria was dealing with the enemy last time. Damn, you're a hard ass. I'd forgotten that. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. You talk her into showing the good stuff. 
I just talked to her and got the discount. Do I get two discounts if I do this? I'm looking. Welcome back. Just so you know, your discount is still good, and I'll let you know about any special items that might hold your interest. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria! You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. <laughs> Wow. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing a sari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. So do I actually get to talk to you this time, or do I need to help you do your job again? Hey, come on, Shepard. Wasn't it at least a little fun? I do the groundwork, you swoop in and get the mark talking. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. And I just noticed my armor is freaking out. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Yeah, so my armor freaked out during that whole segment. Um I think I feel like I should look around. I need minimal heat before doing anything. And speed. arrested watch yourself if you go in there some human is causing trouble he's demanding that I sign the place over to him is there anything I can do oh no that crap might fly on Omega but this is Ilium I'm hooking up security cams now if he or anybody else causes trouble I'll have their asses arrested okay what is going on Still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family. So then he says, "Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different." No. Are you really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. Uh huh. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh huh. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from. Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a Spectre? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, let me make this perfectly clear. <laughs> this is not acceptable. Oh, my foot! You shot my foot! <laughs> that shot barely grazed you, you big baby. Sorry, my father was a Krogan. It still scared me. I knew it, the badass mercenary thing. People don't usually shoot me. So you just wander the galaxy writing wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? 
I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Okay, wow. Yeah, one of my mods uh, un n 7 his armor. Alright. Let's go talk to this weapons dealer, which I think I know. Uh, yeah, it might be Gateway Personal Defense. Okay, through shipping. And, um... Okay, wow, there's a lot more people here. Wait, Nasana Dantius. Didn't she have a sister that was in need of help? Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. Let me actually That's see what's point. here. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna save before I talk to her. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. Pay attention, lady. Unlike Conrad, I actually know how to use a gun. Wait, 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 wait! This whole place is under video surveillance! You can't shoot me! I don't give a Vorch's ass about your security cameras. Conrad Werner is an idiot. But he doesn't deserve to be manipulated like that. You're gonna make it up to him. Okay, I'll go tell him the truth. No. You're gonna tell Conrad that he did a great job and then you're gonna leave. That's all. Are we clear? Yes, we're clear. Look, I I'm even putting you in for a discount at the kiosk, okay? I'll do that. But talk to Werner and I'm gone. I swear. There we go. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna grab the assault rifle damage. Why not grab both? That really hurt my wallet. Oh, blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil. Chunk. What about you? Gonna try and make it as a All right. Uh, one last one to check. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? What? No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. Oh. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave. And you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. What are you doing here on Ilium? Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. 
The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No, but they can declare us in breach of contract, which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. Interesting. Save. Actually, hold on. Yeah, save. Let me actually check what Barrier Frontiers has. Okay. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilium's contract analyst should look it over. You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. A sorry like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Your bondmate was with the Quarians. Your daughters worked with aliens every day at the Embassy and the Consort. And look what happened to them! You've suffered, I get that. But these colonists were trying to live peacefully. They've suffered too. They lost family to the Geth, the Mithorian creature. Don't add to their anguish. Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Okay. Buy up everything on their kiosk and let's go talk to Shiala. Did you get the star charts? Well, let me actually check. Okay, we're um, just over halfway through the yeah, first bar. Or second bar. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? 
yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the new contracts. It's fixed for now. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe some time when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Okay, wow. Let me check one more time. Saris Technologies. Okay, I've been to all the stores. I just need more money. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract. All right, let's go talk to Werner systems. now. Everything's dangerous and everything's for sale. Even tax and I think I'll grab this. We can use this. And that's the last one I can buy for right now. I'll make do. But coming up later today, we release our annual list of Ilium's ten richest people. Are the heavens still bright as our Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest as the disease is now under control. The weapons merchant said that we took care of the red sand dealers. I guess I really helped. You did a good job, Conrad. Now that I'm back, though, how about if you go back to your old life? Can do. Thanks for not being too mad. It's really good to have you back. All right, finally. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Catch you anything? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like the colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You'll find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar, even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. 
Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that a sorry wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Wow. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Thanks for setting up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, we can get brandy here. Wait a second. Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. I'm just looking around. Pleasure as always. Okay, glass of wine. Let's try that one. That is not a glass of wine. Okay, game. And now the mystery drink. Wow. Welcome back, babe. Can I okay, get Okay, her face thing? completely changed. Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. Okay, that Just looking around. That's trippy Glad as hell. As always. Alright. Okay, I think it's time to actually go and do one of the recruitment missions. It's almost been an hour and I've just been doing busy work. Okay, we got Sarah's Ice Brandy for Chakwas. And, okay, I'm not even on the right tab. We have to find the Justicar and the Assassin. So... I think I'll go for the Assassin first. Blasto? Really? Let's do it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? I did it after Hold on, I have to look around. I also have to check. Data pad recovered, attempting to recruit Arch Archangel. Act the security node. That's one. Well, I want to return to Normandy. Just to look at that Castro gear. I'm gonna quickly look at that Castro gear and uh, get some of those upgrades. Let's see, Castro. Headshot damage, weapon damage increased. 
Ooh, wow. Melee damage, weapon damage, shield strength. Shield and melee damage. Okay, this is pretty good. I think I'll still stick with the Archon Visor. Why not? Ooh, that's nice. A red tint. Why not? Yeah, the red metallic with like Yeah, white seems to be nice. There we go, so we'll rock in the full Kestrel set. Minus the helmet. And uh let's see. The upgrades I just got. Assault Rifle Accuracy. I can only buy one of these. Um, yeah, Assault Rifle Accuracy. Armor Upgrades. Biotic Duration. Hell yeah. What can I prototype? Cerberus Armor, which is meh. The fact that I get more with the uh, Kestrel set. Kind of funny. Also, Trauma Module. Ooh, I'll grab that. Then the last one would be the medical bay to get rid of scarring, but whatever at that point. Let's check. No messages. Let's get back down there. Uh, I think... Yeah, definitely gonna take Garrus and Morden. Need that bonus overload stuff. Also... Increases the fire rate, rapidly depleting the heat sink in exchange for nearly continuous fire. Uh, why not? Let's also see... Yeah, why not? And I'm going to change the rifle I have on my back. Oh, I forgot that I have a mod that adds in the um, Halberd version of the Madoc. This was the one that was from Mass Effect Andromeda. It says the gun has an Andromeda initiative stamp. Also, it's got a typo. Thanks to Les... But stronger shots allows for more effective shooting than its precursor. Could also use the face, the faceton. So the Cerberus Harrier, just kind of okay. The version of the Matoc. Yeah, difficult to use, but highly effective in combat. Eh, I'll, I'll try to keep using the Madoc, but also, I want to try the Geth Cannon. Do we have any other stuff? No. Yeah, let's just get down and get in there. Wow, there are so many more blue highlights on this armor than... <laughs> than the other one. Also, what does this do? Oh, I can trade. Okay, so I can trade this for materials. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, well, I think we're going to go after the Assassin first, then the Justicar. Listen, I know 
the data is vital to the Corosa family. The sound of Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Where is... There you are. Serena. Serena? Who wants to know? Someone who can make your life a living hell. <laughs> Too late. Liara Tassoni said you'd have information on Thane Krios. Am I wasting my time? Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? I just need to talk to him. Dangerous man to chat with. Your call, though. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nisana is just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. I'm ready now. That's what I like to hear. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. This is going to be interesting. Now I'm going to take Garrus and Morden. We're dealing with shields and armor, I think, so... Uh, let's see, what does Garrus have? Well, he should have the Black Widow. And... Why not equip him with the Trian weapon? Equip him with that, and that's fine. I think, I think I'm fine, so let's go. Towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nisana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. All right, let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> too long they'll be here to greet you soon enough good luck Shepard
right behind you. Coming. God damn. Okay, rifle time. Heavy damage and great effectiveness against shields. Okay, maybe that'll be good. Okay, wow. It's gonna get nutty. Which way do I go? Okay, there's a Solarian worker there. What's on the other side here? A secure terminal that I hacked in 0.2 seconds flat. Oh wait, hold on. Let me get the SMG on. Wow, it really does just work like the one from Mass Effect 3. Help. He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Just be glad you're still breathing. What happened? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mercs said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then <coughs> the dogs. <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. Here, that should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Thank you. That helps. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? They were expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. Okay. I thought I was going to find something else down here. Uh-oh. There we go. I run out of ammo stupid fast. Okay, hello. Okay. Okay, I've run out. Alright, I'm already out of ammo. One down. 
All right, wow. More Max. I literally don't see any ammo. Ah, damn, dude. Okay, yeah, for some reason, ammo's not dropping. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically out. Whoops, that was the wrong one to use. Wow, I have literally no ammo. Okay, wow. This should slow him down. Not difficult. Okay, wow. Where is the ammo? Please let there be ammo. Like I'm straight up out. And I don't want to use my heavy weapon this early on. Wow, there is a whopping one. This is not going to last very long. So either insanity has just been hitting me with these just, hey, screw you in particular moments. Or my RNG is just that bad. I'm going to save though. Whoops. Okay, I went a little far. Then I could just put my shield back up, buddy. There's one more, and he's right around that damn corner. Okay, I need to back off. Okay, I'm almost out. Okay, warp. That makes sense.
Ага. Okay, really effective. And the cheese. Okay, that was a complete mess up. Also, look at the amount of ammo it's actually giving me. Holy shit. premium cheese. Oh, hello. What was this? Is this the door I came in through? Oh, it's a way I could have gone around. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, I'm down to just... Okay, I knocked him down. Oh, wow. All right. I completely forgot that I shot the gun out of the sand. Yeah, I think it might be time to revive them. Okay, we made it through that. 
Except, um, yeah, Garrus and Morden did not for a little bit there. Okay, I can't push it around. Also, this seems like an ambush segment. Is there anything else here? Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? I'm looking for someone and you're not him. But is it safe to come out? Seen anyone suspicious who isn't a merc? Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person. She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works as long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! Eh. Three thousand credits. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Wait. You can get this sniper here? I thought it was something you had to buy. Well, now I have a sniper on my back. Can't change it till the mission's over. I think this was my favorite sniper way back in the day. Quick refire rate. Although it lacks in damage, so, um, let's look around, get people in cover. Simple enough. You got it. Garrus can be there. Should I take the Understood. middle or should I take the back? I think I'll take the back. Whoops. We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. Might suggest cover. As indeed. Have a pleasant day. Also, how much ammo did I get? I guess I only have 31, right? Incoming. Enemy combat. Fire in the hole! Wow, okay. Oh no, he just got boosted. Completely forgot that these engineers are actually smart enough to regen their shields. Also, that was really good. Really good damage against shields there. Also, didn't expect the Krogan. Still got him, though. Let me go over my skills here. So I'm j I'm not using Cryoblast and Throw. 
Crowd Blast is only really usable on people with armor, but even then, it's not very good. Okay, I have ammo. Coming. Um, okay, so these don't have icons for some reason. Cooling rates are much faster. I don't know how the collector SMG works, but that collector rifle isn't good. I don't like it. I haven't heard from teams four or five. Don't worry, my team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Don't worry about it. Turn around very slowly. Damn it. Tell me where the assassin is and I might let you live. If I knew that, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? You got two ways down, express or coach. Your choice. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. How about goodbye? Harsh, but I guess he had it coming. Usually people cut him off at, if you shoot me. I had to let him go a little bit longer. Also save. Big room. Fenris, Loki. I want to test this rifle. Oh, it's pretty good. Woo. Okay, you got me. Okay, yeah. I remember why it was mon one of my favorites. Not nearly as much damage. Also, just realized Garrus isn't even covering. Really? Mind over matter? Seems like you got a bullet there. Okay, that was a complete fail on my part. He's somehow hitting him. <laughs> Double knockdown. Okay, it's not bad, but it's not crazy either. Are you guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I... Hurt me? I hardly felt a thing. Tell him! Slow and easy. He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? I've shot a lot of Mercs today, but I can't take credit for him. Then who did? You tell me. What happened? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Telen picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. 
A perfect headshot with no collateral damage. Very impressive. Yeah, scare us a run for his money. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit... on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. All right, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Fun's out, fun's out. Oh, and here's the other spot you can get that right for. What's going on down there? I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nasana. What? Oh. Oh, you hit me with warp, did you? Okay. Didn't go where I wanted it to. Because of shot ready. Thanks, Karis. You got in front of me. Why are you staying in the open? I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. I did not mean to do that. I meant to use throw to knock her down, but... Oh, well. From element zero, and we can now change weapons. Thank God. Um... Hmm. I think I'll try. Oh, it uses a heat sink. Okay. All right. That's very interesting. Um, micro warps and singularities. Okay. Okay, so it's effective against armor and biotic barriers, which is weird for an SMG. But now we have the Viper, which is okay. Also, Garrus equipped that for some reason. Well, you know what? I'll keep it on. Why not? Load myself up like the soldier class. Holy shit, Batman. Oh, wow. Okay. I actually have to fall back because Garrus decided to just you. not move up. Whoops. Anyone else? I'm with 
Hits you. Not a problem. This will break them down. God. Deploying incineration tech. Okay, take a seat. Oh, she took a seat and much more because now I can't get her ammo. Okay, I might want to do rifle and sniper. Yeah, 12 shots with that much, like, piercing damage. Pretty That's good. 12,000. I could probably now afford every upgrade. With you. Coming! I don't care what you do! Okay. Wow. Oh, I can see that. I don't think I can hit it, though. He literally turned into a ball. Game I know. You know all about that. Simple enough. Okay, yep, enemies are moving up. There we go. Alright, there's that. Okay, I think that is everyone, right? Maybe not. Did he just really do a Mr. President? Okay, that's funny. Wait, did she just get knocked back far enough that there's a kill zone? Yep, she almost. Okay, there's a commando here. Okay. 
that entire thing went about as smoothly as I thought it would. Okay, let's get in there. Shepard, you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. Maybe I just missed you. Screw you, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. Make me an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I came a long way to talk to you. One moment. Prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Nasana and her men deserve what they got. Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They tell me it's a suicide mission. I intend to prove them wrong. A suicide mission? Huh. Yes. A suicide mission will do nicely. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying? Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. Not to look a gift assassin in the mouth, but why are human colonists a concern to you? They are innocent, yes? Like all victims of the Collectors. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Wow, okay, we got a ton of credits here. I could actually buy more upgrades. I've 
heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's see what upgrades I can actually get. Uh, I need more iridium. That's basically all I need. Okay, one more person to recruit. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay, this is the, um... Some of the news. Body mod craze sweeps ilium. Specialized capsules under their skin that re react to certain audio frequencies by lighting up. Oh god. Okay. Woo, RGB skin. Why does it reset my ship over there? All right, let's go back down there and get Samara. Um, now I'll do a switch back to the Typhoon. Actually, no, the Arc Projector. Why not? All right, we're back. Now I've got to go all the way around. Okay. We could talk to this guy now. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. This might be worth putting your family on hold. Here's that data you were worried about. Is that the Carosa Generational Archive? I am so sorry for being rude. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? Why is this data so important, anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Carosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human... pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Oh, I leveled up. Oh, a lump of credits. All right. Uh, also, I have... What would this auto level up? Yeah, that's not happening. We're upgrading tech armor. Assault armor. It gives a shield boost after detonation. Ooh, I can increase my power almost indefinitely, basically. I can increase the power to be 
indefinite and actually powerful. Mm. So, basically, power bonus or this thing can last forever and if it ever goes down, you can count on at least some of your shield coming back. I think I'll go with assault. Assault armor. Then this goes into guardian or raider. Hmm. All right, well, we're good for at least right now. Let me also look around for terminals. Oh, here they are. All right, save. It's just we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally have my parents. There it is. There's that one at least. What about you? Blue Rose of Ilium. You are Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Solarians think about it. Sometimes you say these things and Hold on, is there more to that one? Oh, there was only one to it. Okay. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow. And there's Officer Dara. Why not? Like she's turned pure blood Let's just go religion. and get Samara. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem? Or did she kill somebody already? I have no idea. Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Alright, let's go and, uh... Get her. I think I'll just... Why not? Just load up on everything. Actually, no. I'm not going to load up on everything. I think I've got everything I need for right now. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. 
She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney for. Find me in the station if you need me. All right. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every sorry does, I guess. Ooh, and there's a, a weapons locker here. Let me actually switch it out. Why not? Let's try the halberd. And I have the Indra. Interesting. I didn't know I had the Indra. And why not just equip everything? I'm kidding. I don't really need shotguns, and shotguns are a very dangerous weapon to use. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone. But they are drawn to impossible causes. Self-correcting policy. Fortunate in our case, of course. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. Why wasn't I told? Twice a day, on average. Our mission is more important than all of our lives. And now your superiors are just being foolish. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse Mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Good luck. We better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Yep. So, we have a little bit of info. Pitney 4 had a business associate somehow die. And they've been investigating this for only a little bit. This basically this has just happened. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Ooh. Upload the message. Uh huh. Why did I pull out my weapons? Salvage. That's a decent amount of cash. Garrus. Okay, yeah, it's actually really good. Cooldown's a bit quicker, too. Those were my best troops. 
tell me what I need to know, and I won't be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar! What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. I'll get the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. A moment ago, you refused to give up your investigation. Now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Logical calculation. Slim odds, but possible. Better than impossible. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Okay, let's talk to him. Hello, Earth Clan. If you're interested in weapons, I have a fine selection. Unfortunately, I am not open for business right now. I need information. And I hear you might have some insight. I have no idea who you are, Earth Clan. Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse, so they are perturbed and want to kill me. Tell me about this chemical you brought in. It's called Minogen X3, and it's very, very, um, illegal. Anyone with biotic powers who is exposed to it becomes more powerful. The higher your exposure, the more powerful you get. But too much of it, you die. That's the part that the Eclipse found disagreeable. You've been in the Eclipse base. What do you remember? It's a series of docking bays where the Eclipse keep their private ships. They're well armed and they've got mechs. And they're all murderers. Every one of them kills someone as part of their initiation. 
Sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Ooh. All dangerous, you say? Let's take the fight to them. Take them out. Hostile! Oh my god. Wow. I don't know why there was one just there. Goddamn, dude. All right, wow. Yeah, my character may have biotic powers, but wow. Also, shotgun. Um, I don't really like the scimitar shotgun. Weak against armor, but good against barriers and shields. Meh. Not gonna use it. Interesting. There's someone in here. because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnor the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. Screw that, bitch! Over and done with. Biotic damage. Yeah, we all know that they had to literally kill 
to get their uniforms. And she's conveniently wearing a uniform. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. that one. Okay. <laughs> For some reason the game's acting like my pistol's a shotgun. Let me see if that's still... Yep, it does. For some reason. Still persists. It's so weird. I'm gonna save and reload real quick. There we go. It's working fine now. I think that's a bug that only happens during this mission. Basically, free money. Uh, still haven't picked up any ammo. Okay, cover. The gunship. Okay, I'm also running out of ammo.
There we go. Okay, I desynced for a second there. Whoops. Okay, she hit the kill zone barrier and then just dropped dead. That makes sense. Also, no ammo yet. Okay, that gives me a refill. So she joined a Merc band just to impress people. Cool. We've been spotted. Heading to cover. There we go. Push you back. Push you back. Double whammy. There we go. Power cells. Um. Because of shot ready. Wow. Okay. Indeed. On my way. He just starts shooting it. That's really weird. Patented Mass Effect lens flare right there. Great, we have mechs. Okay, that's that. What else is here? Okay, a little bit of ammo. Yeah, um, hated that quite a bit. Whoops. Shipping manifest. 
shows that Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. Not what Samara seeks, but proof that the Volus is a criminal. I'm sure Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Let's worry about that after we find the ship name. Oh, money. Oh. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. A great biotic wind. Yes. The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Good luck with everything. Wait, Earth Clan. You're just in time to witness my crowning achievement. The leader of the mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. Shepard, this guy couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Charge. An ill wind blows upon Wasea, captain of the Eclipse Sisters. After me! Unfortunate. Huh. <laughs> That's all he has to say. Oh, last chance to change my weapons. I guess I'm gonna change... My, uh, arc projector. What would I actually want to use? Because the good stuff is locked away with research. So, might as well use some of it. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! Oh. oh. And you're done. Go. Likely the ship name Samara requires. 
Well, let's see. Where did the volus go? Oh. Okay. The biotic god is dead. Still, still moment. waiting on that uh, Mass Effect 2 biotic god edition there, Bioware. All right, let's go. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Want to head back now or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. Okay, wow. And I know we can pay off Pitney. Or give Pitney the info now. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions, but I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths, the third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. You'll be a great asset to our mission. I'm excited to have you along. I am glad to hear it. I will fight by your side, kill your enemies, and protect your friends. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. This evidence names the murderer. Turns out basic police work isn't so hard. You just have to leave the station. I'll keep that tip in mind. Now, what have you got there? Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. You're not big on the charm, but you get the job done, and I'm old enough to appreciate that. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you. But we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. All right. We have the assassin and the Justicar. We got 50,000 from that. All right. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. 
I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're gonna find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on Deck 3. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Wow. All right. Last check on upgrades before I do anything. There's that. Get some more biotic damage. And what else can I get? I need one more heavy weapon ammo upgrade. All right. But, uh... Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end it for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, set your notifications to all, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.